Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at techtrader.com. It's Tuesday, the 29th of May. These are the charts of the day. Well, you can see that the indices today, the S&P in particular, broke support and it came down plunging to test the triple top that had broken out earlier, which is now support. And it's a parallel trend line as well. And noticing that this night, we did bounce off of it, but I'm going to have to say that I move quickly to below that level tomorrow. We could be 2660 or even 40. On the NDX, you can see it looks a lot better, a lot different. The move up off the low here, spiked up back then filled this is the line in the sand this double top and this double bottom around 68.50 is key now if you notice then connecting this low that low and today's low right at the trend line any further damage would be uh, deconstructive no question and if you look, take a look at the, the s p leading to the downside uh, but the positive divergence is that the ndx is not confirming so we'll see what the market tomorrow may bring let's go to the charts there's a lot to talk about xia one of our swing trades had a nice day Popping 156 or 6.7%, the volume was a third of a million, not huge, but it's a thinly traded stock and fairly thin. The volume was the best in about six sessions. And on a move like this, where it pops to resistance, we want to see if there's a fall through. The declining tops was taken out, the moving averages are kind of crossing over. Any move above today's high of 25, 35 or so, we should see 29 and maybe even 33, 4. And those are my targets, and we're hopeful to see that kind of a fall through and an increase in volume. BILI, fairly new IP, IPO. After popping and then basing out in this area, exploded through resistance and then pulled back to test it, and now it's running again. If this is a one, two, and this is three underway, I don't think it's finished yet, and I wouldn't be surprised to see 17, 18 zone tested coming up. CGC, well, um, the canopy growth is setting up a big base for a massive move, my thinking. But, and obviously the pullback didn't make me happy on. The last couple of days, but today was a positive session up a dollar twenty-two. Now the volume was solid, not as huge as the days before, but I'll take two point six million. The bottom line is I'd like to see it hold twenty six seventy ideally, and the stop would have to be under, I'd have to say maybe twenty-five and a half or twenty-four eighty. I have a stop of twenty-five and a half on a swing. The resistance obviously is thirty-one and a half, and then we're looking for a move up towards the mid the high thirties, maybe thirty-seven, thirty-six ninety-five, something like that. We look at it this way at a uh, rising angle. Something around 33, 34 would be the next target. <clears throat> CPRX broke out of a two-week consolidation after breaking out of the declining tops line. Moving areas across up, the stock consolidated in a nice little platform, and then today popped of almost 9%. The volume was almost 2 million as well. The volume was good on this one. There is some resistance right there. We get to this level, we might very well run it up towards 4 and then maybe 450. Those are my next two scalp targets on CPRX. Cree popped out and running to the highest level since, well, it's close four years ago. If this rising channel is met, the targets are 52 and 59. Corvus, this little declining channel broken, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, neckline broken today, jumped to dollar 14 or 10 percent. Volume was only 102,000, it's pretty thin, but the way this looks, 13 and a half, 15, and 17 and a half are targets. CVNA, big engulfing reversal bar off support near the trend line. For me, at the declining top side, we break through here. We must certainly should test 29 short term. We might test 31 and a half pretty quickly. The longer term target will be upwards in the 40 range. CYRX, you can see that the long rising channel is underway. The breakout occurred across the double top. I fully believe the stock should get to 15, maybe 22 and a half. Longer term, obviously, I'm looking for something higher than that. Nice chart, though, a nice breakout with good volume. Look at the volume. Any pullback consolidation near the ele uh, 10 and 3 quarter 11 zone, I think, might be a really good entry out. DocuSign, this new IPO is running. I'm taking a look at the pattern, it ran up and pulled back as wave three now. And it might be running in that angle. If that's the case, we may have gotten near the target high today, but my target is going to be 51 going forward and then 55. ECYT, nice looking biotech, exploded coil. We put a swing on it and broke out from the 10 range and ran to 14. 14.85 to be exact. It's flagging again. I think it has one more leg up that should get us to 17.18. EOLS, after the IPO, the stock exploded uh, after it first pulled down. So um, from a low of about the $7 range, this stock's gone up 
300%, and now it took a few weeks. So for me, this you got to be real careful that it's not extended. But with an inside positive day today, we may see the stock get in the mid to high 30s or more. Intel stat, well, after a nasty day on Friday and what looked like a potential top, it just had a nice positive inside day today. I just carefully watch today's low at 15-ish. Don't want to blow that. If it extends, we look for 18. Big day for Momo, breakaway gap on Monster Vime and a really strong close. A little bit of resistance comes in at about 46 and three quarters, but I'm looking for something in the low 50s. Micron, right up against its old high here. 63.42 is the high back in March, today's high, 63.98, and a closing at 60, 62.62, the highest close. That's the highest close we've seen on Micron in a long time, and way back to 2000, when this stock traded all the way up in the 90s. Seven, 97 and a half the all-time high. Now, I'm not saying we're going there, but I am thinking this could be mid, mid to high 70 short term, especially if it gets to a year without a breakout, without, excuse me, without a pullback. MYGN accelerated and rising flag, and today it's popped again and went up about $1.68, almost 5%. Lateral price resistance at 41.45 and then 46 and a half. NWY, this retailer broke out, wedged tightly, breakaway gap, Another little coil and another breakout. For me, it's a one, two, three, four. The fifth wave should take it to six, maybe seven. Impinge. The swing trade acting great in my mind because the bottom has been put in, in my opinion. This is the breakaway gap. This is the falling wedge. Today was a beautiful pop of 234 or 14% on a million four. I think we have more to go. Looking for 23 and 27. QTNT looking great. There's a massive inverse head and shoulders and there's a rising angle um, neckline, which could lead to much higher levels. I would not be surprised to see this at the 12 and a half, 13 zone in the next few weeks, but for now, let's see if we can get up through eight and a half. Square with a good day today. The high of 58.46 was the high back in March. Today's high was 57.84, so within a you know 60 cents or so of the all-time high today. But this is a breakout across the double top. The volume increasing, even though it didn't close great, I'm still looking for more, and mid-60s is my target. SVRA popped across the declining tops line and up through lateral resistance with the moving averages crossing over. This had a big day. Up $1.56, that was almost 18%, and the volume was big for this stock at 714,000 shares. The biggest volume since December. I think it's breakout volume. I think the stock makes it to at least 11 and a half, three quarters, and then 13 and a half. TTGT just amazes me every time I look at it. And volume's actually building and the tech are getting stronger as she goes. So it might be an acceleration mode and it could be that this stock's going to trade up near, near 30. And finally, tonight, Twitter acting well. It got up to resistance and held it. I like that much. Pull back a little bit. But uh, if this stock gets across today's high, let's say across 35, I expect to see a quick test of 36 and three quarters. Once you get through that, you're on your way to 42. That's my opinion. And that's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good evening. Bye.